Hello everybody, um, a few people have been asking me um, on my Crisis Lumberjack video, a um, couple of PMs about that, asking me whether I'm running it in Windows XP or Windows Vista. Um, I'm actually running it under Windows XP. Um, I can run it under under Vista, anyone that goes into my channel can see my computer specs and I can run Crisis on 35 to 40 percent, 40 FPS maxed out. Um, however I am finding that there were issues with SLI in DirectX 10 mode and there doesn't seem to be a, a massive fix to that coming so I hope hopefully there will be one in uh, service pack 1 so I'm choosing to play it under Windows XP and there are certain tweaks that you can do to um, to make crisis under DirectX 9 look about 80 85 percent as good as DirectX 10 um, DirectX 9 can actually render most of the effects that DirectX 10 can. Not quite the same, but when you're playing the game, you don't really notice, and it looks, for all intents and purposes, like you're running you're running under DirectX 10. So here is how to do that. You find your Crisis install. I've actually got a separate hard drive for my games, so go into that. Okay and you go into game, config, and that's what you want, you want the CVAR groups folder. So what you do is you copy that and you paste it into my documents or wherever, somewhere easy to find in case it goes wrong because then you can just paste it straight back into the into the config folder if, if anything goes wrong. So what you want to do for each and every one of these files, you want to open them up in, in Notepad and you want to go through each and every one of these files and copy the top bar of text and paste it into the bottom bar of text like that. Save your file. Go to the next one. top bar, paste, bottom bar, save, systematically go through every single one. Now when you start up Crisis you'll be aware that normally it's locked under DirectX 9 so you don't have the, the very high settings available to you, you've only got high um, so what it does is it tricks the game into thinking that you are still running it under high but because you've copied and pasted the settings over onto the bar of text in the config file that represents the high settings you're copying that block from the DirectX 9, DirectX 10 part of the file onto the DirectX 9 high settings part of the file so you're getting all those max effects rendering under DirectX 9 and to all intents and purposes like I said you know it looks like the DirectX 10 version is running and so here we go give it a try see what you think 